Last week, Microsoft published a new article about Autogen Studio, and I was amazed by an example where a complete children's book, including the story and matching illustrations, was created using a simple prompt. In this example, two agents were used. One, a user proxy, representing the user and their inputs, and another, an agent capable of creating both images with GPT-40 and generating PDFs containing these images and descriptive texts. In this video, we'll try to replicate the steps to create a small picture book using Autogen agents, complete with images and descriptions, to see if everything works as we expect. First, let's install Autogen Studio with pip. Once installed, we start it using the command Autogen Studio UI. You'll see that the application starts on localhost port 8081. This means we can open Autogen Studio in our browser and create a GPT-40 model directly from the model section. For this, we'll need our API key. After entering it, we can test the model to ensure everything is functioning correctly. Next, let's take a look at the skills we need. Our agent needs the skill to create images and PDFs. These are available by default. We have a skill for generating images and another for creating PDFs. Now, we can create our new agent. This will be an assistant agent, which we'll name Book Agent, since it will be describing children's books. Let's go ahead and create it. We'll assign the GPT-40 model to it and add the skills to generate and save images and generate and save PDFs. Now, we're ready to start our workflow. We'll name this book workflow, and once it's created, we can assign the agents to it, the user proxy, representing us, and the book agent, which will create images and PDFs. Perfect. Next, in the playground, we'll create a new book workflow and start with something simple. We'll instruct it to create an example image of an Autogen AI agent with a short description. Let's look behind the scenes. We can see the console is already hard at work, and here we have the result, an image of an AI agent. When we check the messages between the agents, we see the user proxy forwarded our message and the book agent planned the steps, using the generate save image skill to generate images based on our description and then outputting the path of the created image. Great, we see the internal communication and the description it created. Next, we want to create our small Autogen picture book and ask it to create a five-page PDF. To streamline the video, I've cut out a significant portion of the waiting time for the final results. After a few minutes, the agent is done and we check the result. We see various images here, but I'm particularly interested in the created PDF. We open it and see the text, but unfortunately no images. So we refine our request specifying that the images should be included in the PDF, and note that the PDF has only one page instead of the expected five. The agents get back to work, and now I'm curious to see if the PDF is improved. We locate the new PDF, open it, and see that images and text are now combined. However, it looks more like a PDF with placeholders. The images indicate what each section would be for, like key features and use cases, but the actual use cases aren't detailed. So, while the result is already impressive, as we can create a PDF with text and images in one go, more time and refinement are likely needed. If you want to know the exact steps to create a perfect picture book or brochure with Autogen Studio, let me know in the comments, and I'll make a follow-up video.